The A minor violin concerto of Bach is one of the most passionate of all the works of Bach, particularly a magnificent slow movement. And here they are, violin soloist Nacha Salerno Sonnenberg and conductor Gerard Schwartz for the violin concerto in A minor by Johann Sebastian Bach.
Not just Salerno Sonnenberg, soloist with the Mostly Mozart Festival Orchestra, conducted by Gerard Schwartz. Live from Lincoln Center, in this performance, of the Violin Concerto in A Minor, by Johann Sebastian Bach. And as the title of this mostly Mozart festival implies, music by Mozart, of course, figures predominantly, but music by composers other than Mozart, either his contemporaries or composers who in one way or another were influenced by or had some connection with Mozart, also figures during the course of this summer-long festival in New York City's Avery Fisher Hall. Let's talk about Bach in this concert and ask Nadja to come in and talk about this particular interpretation of the A minor. Come, come. Hi. Join us. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice to see you. Super. Thank you, Jared. It seems to me that there have been about two generations of people who were brought up to understand that Bach was a kind of intellectual exercise in precision. And here we saw you out there tonight, I felt on a personal quest for love and fulfillment and enlightenment. Talk about those two schools of thought about playing Bach. I'm, I agree with, I, I can see both, both points, but in playing this piece in particular, I find it extremely, especially the, the second one, I find it um, romantic and sad. And um, I don't think discipline, um, I, I'm not thinking in those lines when I'm playing this piece in particular. And third movement is so much fun, it's just bouncy and fun. Um, I simply can't think that way in this particular piece. Do you f feel that there is a quality of, of uh, even erotic passion in the piece? There is passion. I don't know about erotic. <laughs> I, there is passion, yes, I, I feel it. Well, I ask the question because the extent to which the person, you, seems to be involved in a tremendous amount of emotional exploration, particularly in that second movement. Yeah, right. Well, the, the possibilities in that moment are endless. So I, I don't think I've played it quite the same twice in a row. You did a thing which I thought was daring to the point of madness, and I'd like to hear your conductor talking about it, again in the second movement. Don't know if you could tell this on television, but in the hall, which is a very big hall, Nadja pulls the sound back so it's just like a whisper. And when I sat out in the hall last night, people were coming forward, and it worked. That's because they Wonder couldn't hear me. No, they couldn't hear you. <laughs> they couldn't hear me. They're coming forward afraid that they might not, and that's why I called it daring. Talk about the musical judgment involved in that. Well, a lot of that has to do with the hall you're playing in. You, you mentioned it's a large hall. Yes, it's a large hall, but it's a fantastically uh, beautiful hall acoustically. Every little pianissimo on this stage can be heard. Other halls don't work this way. What I hear on the stage is what is heard in the audience. It's our job on the stage to, to at, at times, adjust what we do according to the hall. I mean, most of the time, we play for the hall in a sense. If the hall's a little drier, we add a little bloom to the sound. If it's a little, if it's, if it's very reverberant, we play shorter notes. We do things to adjust. In this case, I, I believe very much that every little pianissimo that Nadja played is heard. I'm, I'm sure of it. Do you know about that? Can you tell as you're playing? Are you yes, I can tell audience? usually in any hall that I play in, from being on stage and playing, what it sounds like out there. There are a few cases where you think it sounds wonderful and nobody can hear you out there, but not this hall. And in uh, knowing that I can do that in this hall and knowing that I'm working with a fabulous orchestra and with Jerry, I, it's always the way I've wanted to play that particular movement, so I took advantage of. Again, about the personal expressiveness and the body language and the facial language. Has anybody ever tried to get at you and say, hey, pull that in, kid, because Yeah, you're... especially the, the, the facial things. I, I, I've seen myself on videotape, and uh, I can certainly see their point, but it is something that I'm not aware of when I'm playing. And as far as anything that I'm doing with my body, uh, I think it's very much a release of tension on stage. I don't want to be tense when I'm playing. So um, I tried very hard at one, at one concert uh, to stand completely still. I think I thought the entire time during the concerto about my face, don't move your face, don't move your mouth. Uh, and I heard the tape, it was so, I went right to sleep. And uh, so I didn't, I didn't want that to ever happen again. So it is pr completely unconscious. I certainly don't choose to do that. There's no strategy involved in your... Uh, what what your strategy would there be to, to look ugly? No, no, you never, <laughs> never look ugly. <laughs> Not ugly, but it's part... There, there seems to be another tradition amongst some fiddle players to present a mask. So 
so that the music is everything. You're I think saying I think that's true with a lot of musicians in general, not just uh, string players or violin players. I think it's true that, you know, on stage they must be something different. And there is a great tradition being on stage and a, a class to that that, that um, should never be ignored. However, I want to play the way I feel the music. And if I'm thinking about my face, I cannot concentrate on my So you're saying you've come to terms with that and if that's the cost right. of making the music that you're I have. Have. I don't know if everybody else has. Thank you very much, both. You can hear the orchestra getting ready to uh, take us back out. It's been grand listening to you.